in the field of hydrology, we learn in the school about the water cycle. How the water evaporates from the ocean, forms into clouds, moves into interior, falls down as rain, and the water is replenished. This was first described by Sir Bernard Palissy in the year 1580. The Quran too describes the water cycle in great detail 1400 years ago. The Quran says the water evaporates from the ocean, forms into clouds, the clouds join, they move into the interior, they fall down as rain, and the water table is replenished, and the water cycle is completed. The Quran speaks about the water cycle in great detail in several places. In Surah Az-Zumur, chapter number 39, verse number 21. In Surah Rum, chapter number 30, verse number 24. In Surah Mu'minun, chapter number 23, verse number 18. In Surah Hijar, chapter number 15, verse number 22. In Surah Nur, chapter number 24, verse number 43. In Surah Araf, chapter number 7, verse number 57. In Surah Rod, chapter number 13, verse number 17. In Surah Furqan, chapter number 25, verse number 48 and 49. In Surah Fatir, chapter 35, verse number 9. In Surah Yasin, chapter number 36, verse number 34. In Surah Jasha, chapter number 45, verse number 5. In Surah Qaf, chapter number 50, verse number 8 and 9. In Surah Waqiyah, chapter number 56, verse number 68 to 70. In Surah Mulk, chapter 67, verse number 30. In Surah Tariq, chapter number 86, verse number 11. I can go on and on giving references only in the Quran of the several verses which speak about the water cycle in great detail.